So if you're using Windows, if you're using Windows, you should probably get yourself a nice little firewall that will actually track your outbound connections. Windows is notorious for connecting to third-party services without your informed consent. And so you're going to learn a lot by simply just using this day-to-day -day and tracking the apps that you use and tracking how things actually work. For example, Discord does things like connect to Spotify, and you wouldn't even know that unless you were watching this video or you were tracking its connections in something like Wireshark, or in this case, Portmaster, which I have forked from the official repository here, and you should just get it from there. Uh, honestly, uh, a lot of people say I should, you know, do sponsorships or be sponsored by companies. They are not sponsoring me. This is not sponsored. I'm interested in, in the technology. And to be honest, the fact that this is a GPL is amazing to me because what it means is that long after this company, long after this uh, group, this collective decides that they no longer want to support this, the open source community can take it up and make sure it still works. And so I consider this to be one of the few things out there just by the license alone that's actually worth thinking about because I don't have to worry about it as much as I would a proprietary solution that would actively get in the way of uh, people's ability to look at the source code and figure out if it was safe or not. Here it is. Every single line of code is public and it's a GPL, which is a fancy license that's kind of like the GPL, but basically mandates that if you deploy it on a website or allow a download of any kind, you're going to have to give the source code as well. There is no way to host this or give, give it to somebody without being legally obligated to give them the source code as well, which I think is amazing for a tool like this. And so look into it. You'll learn a lot.